Hello, uh, what you're going to be seeing today is essentially a part from my full-scale Halloween roleplay video published a few days ago. And in that video there were a lot of different realities and timelines featured. You can check that video out by clicking on the link in the description if you wish. But uh, today I have published a part from this video for everyone because that video has an age, age restriction and you have to have a YouTube account I believe to watch it. Uh, that is not necessary for today's video. Today is going to feature content from one of the more creepy Halloween realities I filmed for that video and it's going to be a part from that video and it's the part where a major version of me deals with the beginning of an undead apocalypse. He is essentially addressing citizens, trying to reassure them. So uh, I'd advise the people watch this video, but my advice is that this is an age 12 plus video. There is no uh, makeup or content or stuff like that which is uncomfortable, but it does, the video does sort of reference an uncomfortable situation and references undead and zombies and stuff like that, so, mm, so yeah, just a bit of advice, you know, but, mm, but this is a slightly more creepy type of Halloween video. It also contains a few triggers like face touching with gloves and some swirling with a flashlight which which is not ignited in the video, but it's some swirling. <laughs> and of course, Major V, uh, the major version of me trying to reassure his citizens about the situation in the world, in this timeline and roleplay. So for those of you who enjoy a slightly, some slightly creepy Halloween content, this is for you. And if you want the full-scale Halloween spooky video with all the various parts, including the cult meeting and everything else. Click on the link in the description, my friend. Okay? Hope you enjoy. Hello, dear citizens. Two years ago, I was elected your major, and it's been an honor to serve as your major so far. But I had never hoped that such a difficult situation would emerge during my term. Neither for you, nor for our citizens, nor for me. So, you've probably been reading the news, watching the news, and you know about the situation lately, about these mysterious things walking our streets in the world. As you know, the militaries of the world have quarantined cities, put them in lockdown, we don't know much about this phenomenon yet, but we do know it's dangerous. We haven't had uh, full confirmation yet of what these things are, but we ask our citizens to remain and stay vigilant, observant and careful and cautious and preferably keep inside, keep within the city limits and within the li limits of the quarantine. So. So far, the people who have encountered these beings describe them as, well, undead, to be in a, undead. So far, the people who observe them have only seen these beings from the backs, and the few who have seen their faces does not describe pretty scenes. We do not know exactly what kind of beings these are, some claim they are the dead returning from the graves. Others claim it's different. Whatever they are, they are something our world has not witnessed nor seen before. They can be dangerous. So you must be cautious and stay inside. Inside the zones as ordered by our governments and the military. We know it is difficult, but it is vital for the safety of everyone and yourself that you do so. I'm going to show you a few security rules right now. For those of you who have to venture outside the zone, where jobs, where soldiers, where jobs to hunt down these beings and maybe even eliminate them, there are a few caution 
narrow rules and advice you should follow. You can see this is a flashlight and it's very useful when it's dark because it seems we being so often most often out when it's dark we have been spotting daylight too but when it's dark use a flashlight and keep your wits about you okay so this flashlight is super powerful so for our viewers i'm not going to ignite it but use a flashlight and wave it calmly 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 and calmly wave it calmly through the woods like just okay so mm. do not do any too sudden movements that can attract attention just be gentle like this okay okay good okay and maybe just do a few tests motions with some circular moves okay because just on test motions to see if it attracts any unwanted attention. We do not believe these beings, whatever they are, are intelligent or able to respond to reason or any stuff like that. But we believe they are dangerous and we believe we have the ability to sense their surroundings and humans. And we have heard cases of people being attacked by these beings. Now, because a lot of rumors nowadays about what these beings could be, and as your major, it is my responsibility to keep you, my citizens, or citizens, safe. Safe from, well, whatever this is. In what relation? In what relation? We have a few safety rules to follow. And one of them is to avoid, this is very important, to avoid direct contact with these beings or touch these beings. We do not know if they are carriers of certain pathogens. Some people online have claimed that they may even be zombies. We have no reason to suspect so far that is the case. But when approaching them, do it again gently and cautiously and always use gloves, wash your hands and be cautious. Preferably use a mask, too. a facial mask. And use a spray specially developed to take out these beings. A spray the government and the health authorities have developed to take out these beings. Be gentle. I trust, uh, I trust that you all be wise and take care of yourself in such a trying time for our world and our society. Uh, as you can see, I decorate my office for Halloween because it is Halloween season. And uh, in that relation, I put up a few Halloween items. We hope I can bring you some joy in such a trying time for our world, for the city, for everyone. And uh, well, of course, the next major election has been put on hold until we have a more clear picture of the situation. So I will remain your major for as long as the situation lasts. Mm. This is of course uh, a candy Halloween box thing used for filling up with Halloween candy. Your children can go trick or treating so long as we keep within the safe zones. Do not move outside the safe zones. Okay. Good. Now, there's no reason to suspect these are zombies or undead. So far, these are just unconfirmed rumors. We don't know what these beings are. People who have seen them describe them often emerging from or in to a ghostly fog and then suddenly disappearing and some say they resemble some dead people but we don't know much yet. So keep updated, keep safe and know this. Within the city limits, within the quarantine zones, you are safe. Don't worry, we have the situation under control. Wish you a great week 
and try to enjoy your week and try to put this difficult situation of your